Hi everyone, it's Kwa here from the Lee Group at Color William Refer Realty. I just want to give you all a quick update on the market during the month of March. In the middle of COVID-19 pandemic, the GTA real estate market has suggested to more strict rule in terms of conducting a business. According to the staff from a Toronto Regional Real Estate Board called TREP, Greater Toronto area report 8,012 home sale uh, through TREP. The MLS system in March 2020 was up 12.3% compared to 7,132 sales report in March 2019. Despite a strong increase in sales for March 2020 as a whole, there was a clear break in market activity between the pre-COVID-19 and post-COVID-19 period. For the purpose of this release, uh, the start of the post-COVID-19 period was the week beginning Sunday, March 15. The overall mass sale was result, uh, clearly driven by the first two weeks of the month, and there were 4,643 sales report in the pre-COVID-19 period, accounting for 58% of total transaction and representing a 49% increase compared to the first 14 day of March 2019. The average selling price for March 2020 as a whole was $902,680, up 14.5% compared to March 2019. For seller and buyer, what should you expect during the market at this time? It is definitely a cooler spring market. Despite an early prediction of a record breaking sales season, we now will see a slow down market. Buyer who do not necessarily have to buy home decide to hold off their purchase. A seller might expect the same result which other home seller got during the month of February and might hold off their selling home. From my personal uh, opinion, I strongly advise my client to hold off buying and selling if they don't necessarily have to do so at this moment uh, during the pandemic. However, uh, there are definitely seller and buyer who do not, uh, need to sell and buy at this time. This includes those who have already bought homes, those who need to relocate for work, uh, those who need to downsize, and sadly, those who are going through divorce uh, or job loss. As of now, we have not seen any uh, panic sell and buyer who wish to find a bargain deal have not been able to get a loss of uh, discount. Even though uh, real estate is deemed to be essential service, it is definitely not business as usual. Uh, we have adapted many methods of technology uh, to facilitate the sale of our client during this time. The virtual uh, buying and selling um, is not actually new to many buyer and seller. We used to have a buyer from overseas who bought resale home from the comfort of a home overseas. This concept of virtual buying is not even new to many uh, buyer who bought the, the pre-construction. Uh, they bought home through looking at a piece of paper called uh, the floor plan. So this COVID-19 situation is definitely not a case related to the real estate market uh, comparing to 2008 or 2009 housing bubble. This is a health issue related and I strongly believe that once we move to the other side of the curve, the market will definitely uh, bow, bounce back uh, stronger. If you need more information on the market, tip for buying and selling during the COVID-19 or just want to get an idea to see how much your home is worth right now, please give me a call at 647-271-5461 and I'm more than happy to assist. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all the frontline workers from doctor to nurses, uh, pharmacy staff, to the grocery store clerk, farmer, delivery truck, military service member, a police, firefighter, and teacher, from the warehouse worker, mail carrier, transportation worker, you have all sacrificed your safety and your life to save others so we can all stay home. I'm forever grateful for you. We are all in this together and we will ride it out together. Please stay safe and be well.